Joey, thank you. Now, using smartphones, laptops, tablets, and more is part of the daily routine for many people. However, it can pose that some dangers we might not be aware of. Yeah, charging these devices, which often have lithium iron batteries, have the potential to spark if a fire, a fire if we're not careful. Mike Schnapper joining us now from the Rockford Fire Department, how we can prevent these dangers first. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me again, guys. Yeah, so these dangers are all around the house aren't they yeah in the modern era this is what we're using everything is is you know we have to charge it and things like that and there's a great new kind of batteries the lithium ion battery which lasts a lot longer doesn't develop a memory like uh, your nickel metal uh, batteries but there are some concerns about it as well why what, what what is it about them that make them so dangerous at times well it's not even specifically just that kind of battery okay. although they do generate a lot of energy so heat is, is a problem um, what we're running into are a couple things mostly involving the charging of these devices um, we're using aftermarket uh, stuff sometimes you buy stuff at a gas station whatever it's not necessarily the the kind of charger we want you using which is the UL approved so make sure if you're buying a charger you look at the back of it and it'll tell you all those kind of things um, sometimes we're using chargers for things Things that we're not supposed to or we're leaving them charged too long uh, when something reaches full charge unplug it let it uh, let it do its thing because the longer you leave it charged particularly if it's fully charged it's going to overheat and, and folks charge their stuff overnight too so it's a real important message isn't it well of course we use our phones all day and then we plug them in at night when we go to bed right the problem is unless there's a safety measure that shuts it down we could end up overheating again, and nighttime is you know, when fires can be especially dangerous. Yeah. So we were talking a little bit before coming on air yes, that sir. fires these days spread so much more quickly than they ever have because of materials that are in the house. So how important is it to eliminate all the things that could potentially spark a fire at home? We want to get rid of as many ignition sources as possible. And like you said, these synthetic materials and things like that, they're basically like just gasoline around your house, whether it's your couch cushions, your uh, carpeting, your... your uh, your upholstery, anything like that, these things take off really quickly. We use a rule of thumb that a fire doubles in size about every 30 seconds. So we wanna make sure, uh, one, we're not we're eliminating as many of those sources of ignition. Two, early detection is important, which is why smoke detectors and things like that, absolutely necessary. Yeah, you mentioned a lot of this stuff happens overnight. Yes, sir. You get these calls. Um, what's the message to folks at home as we approach the evening and we start to get ready to charge our things to, to wind down the day? Well, we wanna make sure that all the, the things that we can do to reduce hazards are in place. We close our doors to our bedrooms to prevent uh, smoke and fire from spreading, which we want to avoid. Uh, want to make sure our smoke detectors are working. I wouldn't leave stuff charging overnight unless you have a safe charger that will shut down when it's fully charged. Again, when you're asleep, you're not going to be aware something's going on until you either have some sort of warning system or it's too late. All right, some great advice. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me as always. All right, we'll be right back.